What's happening, fam? LA all moving, still moving. Scared to love? A generation scared to love. Uh, I was thinking about it. You know, sometimes it's cool as hell to get a, uh, to see couples interact, right? And I'm not gonna lie, I like being in relationships. It's pretty dope with, with the right people. Like, I think the, diff the most difficult thing is to find somebody that's actually your friend that you can just have fun with. But, um, come across the idea that maybe, you know, you're a generation of people who are just cowards when it comes to relationships. Because it's always a, a reason why we all have a deal breaker. And sometimes the deal breakers are very minuscule and, and, and silly. And what are the things that, the question is, what are the things you're willing to state for, what things that can happen that's not a deal breaker that, that you can stay for? And a lot of times, you know, it's relative to the person, but at the end of the day, what happens? Like, really what happens is the fact that, you know, at some point, nobody wants to admit that, you know, when they meet people, their own insecurities take over. You know, we have all of these facades, like we're a society of facades at this particular point where, you know, we're hiding behind stuff. We're hiding behind uh, tattoos. We're hiding behind clothes. We're hiding behind material possessions. We're hiding behind uh, personas. But when a motherfucker just walk up to you and be real with you, it's like a culture shock. And I think sometimes when somebody's real with you, nowadays it's a culture shock to the point where you can you 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 waiting for the other shoe to drop, and you wind up being you wind up exposing your own fakeness. And at the end of the day, they can't do anything about that. They can't tell you anything about that. You know. You know, I see I, I meet ladies who say what they want, you know. I've dated women who tell you all the things they want and all the things they need. And I say this in another video, and I and I say this for men and women. I think you um you ask for in life what you receive. You you ask the universe for a certain type of person you receive that certain type of person but in a lot of times we've got all the people that we've asked for we've got all the types that we've asked for we've got everything that we quote unquote said we've been missing but still we can't look in the mirror and say what the fuck did I do what am I doing because it's not evolving into people having lasting relationships a lot of times and you know and, and, and the breakups are so superficial a lot of time, that's why people are uh, are scorned, you know. Um, there's no such thing as an amicable breakup right now. There is a such thing, but I'm going too far by saying that. But people are flipping out when, when they part ways because they didn't want to part ways in the first place. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, you can't, you can't. Um, get mad at a person's decision to, to leave. They're grown. They're an adult. But a lot of times, people leave, leave for the 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 the, the 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 dumbest reasons. Like it's just it makes little to no sense. But then again, you know, w what you gonna do? You know. I don't even know, but, uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, 
what you gonna do? Like you gonna say you gonna say to somebody, you know, I'm gonna make you stay with me? No. And a lot of times, what I mean by the cowardly thing is, and we leave for superficial reasons. A lot of people leave people and then try to come back to them. Like I thought, like the 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 buyer's remorse. So, you know, this person I thought was a better deal than you, so I left you, and then I'm with them, and I realize. Uh, maybe I fucked up. So what you doing? And people are not going to take you back like that for the most part, you know. Question is, should they? Eh, I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? Because, let's be honest. That's what people are accustomed to doing. They're accustomed to just fucking people over and just and leaving them. But that's a whole other story. I want to say cowardly when it comes to love because every, everybody wants to be with somebody. Everybody want to wake up with somebody that they that they say can have their back. But, you know, if a lot of people are cowards when it comes to love because a lot of people can't love themselves first. So, if you can't love you, but you want somebody else to love you better than you love yourself, I mean, you're asking too much of them. You know? But if you can't, but when you come to that point where you can love yourself and you have your own standards, you become you, you sit in a little bit more power space because you can say what you about, what you gonna do, you know, who you are, what you are, how you rolling, you know, people can accept you for you because you can accept you for you. And I think a lot of this fear comes in the fact that a lot of people don't accept themselves. So you constantly changing and evolving with the new trend, and and this person is the new cute person. And this person is the new cute type, uh, the new cute type flavor of the month that we supposed to like, you know. Motherfuckers are, you know, oh, I want to be a power couple now because power couple is a new word. And, and, and you find yourself skipping over who's best for you because you want to have the best masquerade possible. So, you know. Being a coward is, is, is about being free from other people. I mean, being, not being a coward is about being free from other people's opinions. Because a lot of this stuff stems from what other people are going to think of you. And truth be told, fuck them other people. I mean, you, you try, you're looking for the approval of strangers, which is childish in itself. So, fuck them. Like, fuck them people. You know, how you going to be, how you going to actually... Free yourself if you shackled by people's, by strangers, by your hopes of a stranger's opinion of you. No, it's a lot of people out here who happy who happy with somebody. There's a lot of people out here who wish they was with somebody and they're not happy, and they don't want you to be with somebody. So they tell, so they throw their stupid opinion. You gonna be with that person? Well. You know, I, you know, I think you could do better. I think, you know, maybe that, you know, if you get somebody out of your league, I think that's how you're killing it. Get somebody who get, who, who, who fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't got to be a dime. You know, everybody ain't got to be um, the, mo the richest. Everybody ain't got to be the best human being on the planet to fit, fulfill all of your, fa you know, fantasies. They just got to be a, a person that you... And care about as a friend of you, as a, as a real true friend, when things are good and bad, and a person that you can have a good time with, whether you have a lot of money or little money, like a person who actually enjoys your company. But until you enjoy your own company and you're a true friend of yourself and you be real with yourself, you're gonna always be scared of people like that when they come along because guess what? It doesn't it doesn't fit with the 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 bullshit facade. That's just what I think. I'm out.